Not bacteria, not viruses, so... Fungus. The idea of a zombie fungus infiltrating the body. The zombie-like fungus. The zombie fungus. Mass outbreak of a zombie fungus. So-called zombie fungus. A zombie fungus. It's a puppet master that's pulling the strings. Apocalyptic type stuff. Fungus that creates a zombie-like apocalypse around the world. But what's more frightening here is that it's actually happening. In 2021, David Attenborough and BBC had discovered a new fungus that could take over the brain of an animal and make them act like zombies. Wait, an organism that turns you into zombies? Now where have I heard that before? As years pass and scientific research gets more advanced, it just feels like these zombie movies are starting to feel more like possible theories. When something like this happens, questions will start to pile up. I mean we're talking about zombies after all. With more and more discoveries of these mind-controlling organisms coming to light, can we finally say are zombies real? I mean what sort of rare organism would even cause a zombie pandemic? This is Jibilula Attenborough I. Seriously, these names are getting harder and harder to pronounce. I could already hear people typing in the comments how I'm butchering some of these names. I mean, why can't we just name something like Bob? Bob the parasitic fungus that turns other living creatures into zombies or something like that. The name is of course thanks to the legendary man that is Sir David Attenborough. It was discovered when Sir Attenborough and the BBC documentary team was filming in Ireland, hence the name. They found this weird looking cave spider out in the open which was acting very peculiar. What the f is this piece of It was engulfed by this parasitic fungus. Uh, that's it, I've heard it's enough. just nature's way of getting back to this. I can believe this happening, it's finally happening. Well, hold on a minute. Let's not jump into conclusions yet. Although it's a new species of fungus, mind-controlling fungus in general is not a new thing. There have also been cases all around the world of a similar kind of fungus called cordyceps. It's called cordyceps. Fungus called cordyceps. I love cordyceps. Cordyceps fungus. The cordyceps had... Or Ophiocordyceps unilateralis fungus. Let's just stick to parasitic fungi for now. I'm a fun guy. <laughs> This type of fungi likes to spread through spores in the air that can affect an ant. If bugs and fungi freak you out, you might want to skip this part. When a single spore from this fungi is so much as touch an ant, it's basically game over for that ant. The spore will enter its host from any part of its body into the bloodstream and into the muscles where they continue to grow. And once this happens, the fungi now effectively controls the entire body of that ant, while the mind is still conscious of the surroundings but is not able to control of its own movements and will move like a well a zombie the ant becomes a prisoner a slave that does its master's bidding and the fungi doesn't just kill the ant right away no 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 it keeps it alive and active throughout this process after weeks on out being controlled by this fungi the fungi decides that it's finally time it is ready to fully take hold of its prey so what it does is make the ant climb to an exposed area but also a safe area where humidity and temperature is comfortable for the fungi and then make the ant take take hold of the ground tightly to stay in place and puts the ants out of its misery. I don't know about you but that might be the most messed up story for an ant in my entire life. If you know of a more horrible story of an ant then please let me know in the comments down below. We don't have friends. But that's not even the end of the story. When the ant dies in that very spot, the fungi will continue to grow. A stem will grow out of its head where a new bulb of fungi forms, where more spores are released into other neighboring ants, which could potentially control and wipe out the entire colony of ants. Infecting more ants. Infecting more ants. More and more and more. <laughs> Imagine for a second if that happened to humans. I mean, it couldn't, right? It's simply not possible, right?
Nobody wants that. Yeah, but that's what's happening. Spore cells of these cordyceps or parasitic fungi won't affect us humans because we humans have a very developed immune system that fight off these fungi. So sadly, it doesn't infect humans. I don't know why I said sadly. What I mean to say was fortunately, it doesn't affect humans or at least not yet. Don't. I mean seriously, a lot of mutation and evolution has to happen. It literally took them 45 million years just to learn how to infect ants. Learning how to infect an ever-developing human, it's gonna take a whole lot more time than that. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's very unlikely. We'll be fine. And yes, there are some other fungi out there that can infect humans, causing illnesses like ringworms and yeast infections. Fungi are what we call opportunistic organisms. Most fungi will only attack those with weak immune systems. And these fungi can cause infections, complications, and possibly death. But a fungi that can control your body like a puppet is a big no. You like saying no? No. No. Dude. No. 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 Stayed up all night. No. No. No! I mean some fungus aren't all that bad for us. Some fungus are even used in making some medicines like penicillin or helps us make cheese or beer. But hypothetically speaking, let's put on our tin foil hat just for a second. Let's just say that these fungi are able to somehow evolve in the same scenario explained on the popular TV show and video game The Last of Us. Or let's take it even further. Let's just say the government, like in a lot of things, will try to weaponize this and mutate this fungi. A time where genetic engineering becomes a real thing. Would humans ever stand a chance? So if that happens, we lose. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Why not check this other videos out? Or you can check this one out that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. And if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Until the next one, I'm out. Don't do drugs. Nope. Without me.